Um, my name is Krishana Sankar and um, I am a scientist. I have a doctorate in biological sciences. I have been a researcher for um, many years now, um, over 10 years been a researcher. And um, my expertise lie in cell and molecular biology and particularly in diabetes related research. I'm actually part of a COVID-19 initiative in Canada. And so we ourselves are not doing research, but what we are is a centralized hub for all um, research related reagent. Our particular initiative doesn't actually, we are not dealing in the actual research of COVID-19 itself. What we're doing is we're actually collecting people, expertise, and any reagents that are needed for diagnostic testing. So that's for the labs that are actually doing COVID-19 research. So we ourselves are not involved in the COVID-19 research, but we are actually part of the team of scientists who are helping uh, all the scientists to collaborate and communicate much faster compared to if they did not have the centralized hub. I feel honored and also humbled to be part of it. Um, so it kind of all started um, probably one week after uh, the WHO um, declared COVID-19 a pandemic. So about a week after that, um, within Canada, our prime minister um, had declared a state of emergency where we were under quarantine conditions. So people were transitioning to work from home. And so during that time, um, sometimes I would be on Facebook and I would see my um, sometimes my Guyanese community sharing information and sometimes I would see aunts sharing information. Um, but what I noticed is people started sharing a lot of things that were questionable and um, actually misinformation. So I started to take it upon myself to create posts on Facebook um, addressing some of those things. So for like example, using disinfectant or using UV radiation and things like that. Um, so I would try to address those on Facebook and um, I was also quite active on Twitter. And so that's where I actually managed to see uh, Dr. Tara Moriarty and she is one of the co-founders of the initiative that um, the COVID-19 initiative that I'm working on. Within our group, we've got six different platforms or pillars. The data that we are collecting is more geared towards uh, the scientific community as well as the um, pub, the public and the policy communities. So we're not actually involved in uh, patient data collection. What we are doing, however, is we are collecting funding resources as well as uh, funded research. So those are the types of, um, for example, we're collecting things like grants that are coming up and helping researchers to find, to have a hub to find where they can find um, grants to apply to for their COVID-19 research. Um, also, we're listing funded research. So for example, if researchers are looking for people to collaborate with, they can go there. We're, collect we're also collecting volunteers. So these volunteers have skills to then actually go out and assist with things like contact tracing, with case tracking, um, and with also COVID-19 testing, so the diagnostics. So we are not ourselves collecting patient data, but we are collecting the people who can actually do that work.